Welcome back to my channel. So during today's video, I am going to be creating an eyeshadow look using the Pat McGrath's uh, Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette, the Bronze Bliss eyeshadow palette, and it is the um, neutral brown eyeshadow palette. So let's go ahead and get started. I primed my eyes today with my Planet Makeup by Yolanda eyeshadow base. And I am not going to set this base today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there are no transition shades in this eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to go ahead with my Juvia's Place, my bronze uh, palette in medium. And I'm going to take the two shades together and apply them to my crease area. Just going to pack it right in that crease area. And do the same thing for the other eye. Now I've been setting my base lately with powder. So I decided to do it without the powder today. So we're going to apply a little bit more into that crease area. And I'm using the um, Lurella Fluffy Blending Brush to place the crease shade. So now I have it placed like I want it. And I've been loving this. And I know I said in a couple of other videos. But I've been loving this as my um, transition shade. Because it's more... Um, like my skin tone just a little bit deeper but I've been loving it because it gives that natural um, shade to help my other shadows transition really really well so now I'm just blending the um, bronzer and blending upwards So now we are going to take the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number 6 brush and we're going to take the black shade, the second shade in the palette. I'm just going to stamp it on the tip of the brush and you can see the payout there and we are going to apply this black shadow in the outer V. I'm going to lightly, lightly build this shade up. Because when, you, when you're using black eyeshadow, it can get a little heavy-handed and get out of control. I don't want it too, too deep, but enough in that area where it doesn't go all over the place. I look like I have a black eye. So I'm going to continue to lightly place that shadow in the outer V. And I'm going a little bit over to the center of my lid but not all the way to the center take a little bit more and I and I lightly 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 build black shadows like this gonna lightly pack a little bit more on the outer V and now we're going to wipe the brush off I don't have my makeup round, so I'm just going to use the towel that's in front of me and to just kind of wipe off that extra black shadow. And then lightly blend right in that outer V area, going up towards my crease, but not all the way in my crease area. Add a little depth to this eyeshadow look. And we're going to try to make this a quick and simple and easy eyeshadow look because you don't have a whole lot of um, different colors to work with. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can make this a quick and simple, easy, everyday shimmer eyeshadow look. Because I can get carried away <laughs> and start using multiple shades. And then it takes about 15-20 minutes to do the eyeshadow look. <clears throat> so I'm liking it so far we're going to add just a little bit more to this area and I'm using this fluffy brush 
because I don't want it as intense to start out with especially being black and I'm blending it as I place it and I'm lightly lightly blending the shadow so I'm liking that so far and a little bit more on the other eye and I'm lightly blending it in that crease area so it's not harsh when I get done with the eye look I'm going to blend a little bit more and the key is to just take your time and blend uh, my eyeshadow looks take much longer to create than it does anything else you know on my face like my base and my brows they did not take that long to do but my eyeshadows takes a little bit longer so now I'm going to go back in with a fluffy brush <laughs> sorry guys I dropped it hang on a minute okay so now I have it and we're going to continue to blend the crease shade in with the black shade I'm going to add a little bit more of the bronzing shade stamp it right in that crease area again so we can make sure it's blended well and the black doesn't take away the transition shade so we're going to blend again So now we're going to take the eyeshadow base. I'm going to take my Too Faced Glitter Glue. I like how light that is. Really, really light. And buy all this stuff, which was my goal to use it all. And it's been taking a while to use it, but I'm getting there. And on my ring fingers, go ahead and make sure it's warmed up. And I'm going to place it on the center going over into the crease area. And the same thing for the other eye. And I'm placing a little bit directly into the crease with the tip of my finger. Okay, so now let's see what shade do I want to use. I think I want to use this shade next to the last shade. This kind of bronzy, goldish bronze. It looks like a brown gold shimmer mixed together. And I am going to take, look for my little flat brush. So let's use this one and see how it works. I'm going to use this little um, flat blending brush and it is a vintage brush. I got this one of my subscription boxes. So we're going to take that shade next to the last shade and just uh, pack it on the side of the brush and place it right in the center of the lid towards the outer V and we're not going to place it on the inner corner of the eye. We're going to leave that area uh, blank until we apply the next shimmer shade. That's pretty. And do the same thing for the other eye. And I'm lightly packing it in this area and going upwards. So I can place most of the shimmer directly onto the um, lash line and the center of the lid. That's pretty. I like that. We're going to place a little bit more directly on the center, leaving that inner 
blank. And a little bit more. And I'm overlapping the black, but not all the way over the outer V. So now I'm going to use the other side of the brush. And I want to use the very last shade in the palette. And it's more, <laughs> I can't describe the color, but it's a beautiful light. And I don't say champagne, kind of a, I don't know, look like a pinkish shimmer. I don't know, but we'll see how it looks on the eye. We're going to take this other side of the brush and apply it right there in the inner corner and overlap the deeper shade we placed. And apply it to the other eye. Like that's really coming together really pretty and overlap it with the center shade and apply a little bit more Okay, so I'm liking how that's coming together. So now we're going to take a little bit more of the black with the BH brush and apply a little bit more back into the outer V to make sure we do not lose the black shade. And I'm lightly stamping it back in the outer V area. I'm going to wipe the brush off and lightly blend and I'm actually flicking the shadows together and towards the center and we're going to take the brush we used for our transition shade and make sure the shadows are blended. I'm liking that so far. Um, I am going to take, I'm trying to get this brush. Sorry guys. <laughs> but it's way, way, way over here. And I cannot find it. Okay, the Sigma small blending brush. And I'm going to blend out the crease shade. So it's seamless and it's not a harsh line in my crease area so now I'm going to take the um, <clears throat> shade next to the last and put on the tip of the same brush and we are going to apply it right in the same area above the crease where we placed it in the center of the lid take a little bit more on the other eye you want to lightly, lightly place the shade in your crease area and then blend. So now we're going to take the last shade and do the same thing. Place it right in the crease area above where we place that shadow towards the center. And just lightly blend it. And now we're going to wipe off our brush and blend the outer V with the lid shade, the center of the lid shade rather, and just blend. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go with this. Now I was doing good. So we're going to take a little bit more of the black with the same brush and make sure it has that little depth still that way it didn't look like it faded and blend it in with the center shade 
where it begins at on that outer V. And just blending a little bit more just to make sure everything's transitioned well. I'm wipe my brush off again and make sure everything is blended. Okay, so I think that should do it for the eye look. I'm going to take my makeup wipe and a little bit of my makeup remover and clean under the eye area. And I like doing this so I can see what it looks like before I apply any more shadow or do my base. Okay, so we're going to take this blending brush again, this Sigma, just to make sure everything is blended well. And I'm just blending the outer V portion above the crease area to make sure there are no patches and it's blended well and uniformed if that makes sense okay so that completes the eye look I like how soft and simple it was to create so I am going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you guys my finished look see you guys in a bit welcome back this is the final look using the uh, Pat McGrath's Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette the bronze bliss so to finish my eyes after I did my base I applied the bronzing shade on my lower lash line along with the uh, shade I put in the center of my lid I put it halfway to the inner corner and then I added the third shimmer shade to the inner corner of the lash line and to highlight my inner corner I used the first light shimmer shade to complete this look and I love how the look turned out um, I like the eyeshadow palette like I said it's really simple easy to do looks if you just want some shimmers and maybe one crease shade and if you want some depth just add the black um, it was easy to do less than what eight minutes or so but I do like this this is a nice eyeshadow palette like I said if you want to glam it up or just like I said one shimmer one crease shade you can use this palette for that let me know your thoughts if you have this eyeshadow palette how you feel about it do you like it um Pat McGrath never disappoints her form I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes not too too many because they're on the pricey side <laughs> and when I can splurge I try to buy something you know that is higher end um to finish the rest of my face I use my normal foundations um I don't have them in front of me because I end up putting them up crazy me um, but to bronze, I bronzed with my Juvia's Place, the uh, tan uh, palette. And I used both shades to bronze my face with. And for my blush today, I used both of the shades from the Juvia's Place Rouge Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. And my lashes today, I used some of my Amazon Valicia lashes. Um, they don't really have styles on here when you buy them. Um... So it's kind of hard, but it just says it's the Mink Lashes Pack 6050. If that's the coding for the lashes. So those are the lashes. I look. And I like these lashes because they're really, really light. You can't feel them. Um, they give a little more depth and length and kind of a little dramatic, which I do like. So for my lips, I used my Juvia's Place Lip Liner in... The shade Love Me, which is a mauve um, lip liner. And I use my MAC lip gloss in, I can't read this, I'm sorry. Um, and I think it was a Nutcracker when it came out with the Nutcracker collection. But it's like a, a red, pinkish, fuchsia-ish, red mixed tone gloss. But again, I do love the eyeshadow look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you have not done so already, please comment, like, and subscribe to your channel and become part of my YouTube family here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.